Okay, I am uh, filming from inside the car right at the second. I'm going to quickly get out here. We are at the uh, Mississippi River here in Vicksburg, Mississippi, uh, which borders along Louisiana. A uh, great battle was fought here back in the 1860s. Matthew and Stephen were led here today by the Lord um, to strike this area under the direct orders of God Almighty um, because we know a great earthquake um, and much natural disaster is going to come to this area. So I'm going to head out here to these two guys so that you can um, hear what they have to say. Bear with me. I just want you to like think about this as I'm filming this. Do you see how they're dressed? Don't you think if you saw one of these two characters come into your place of employment or somewhere that you'd have something to say? No one. God, you are hot, you are filled with your fire, oh God. We thank you, we give you praise, oh God. We honor you. We are your servants, oh God. We thank you for the clear name that you have given us, oh God. We thank you, oh God, that you have commissioned us for this task. We don't, we don't believe there's anybody else that you have commissioned for this task, oh God. The Lord, as I was driving over here, you said I was to extend my red stick staff. struggle for us. You've sent us forth. You sent me forth after the order of Jeremiah. You sent me forth to command that this nation should drink forth from the wine cup of your wrath, O oh God. For you are angry with the inhabitants of this land. And you have sent forth ample warnings through every prophet who has ever lived. Every true prophet has sent your warnings that if the people who live in a land do these things, you will vomit the inhabitants therein out of the land. You have said it through every prophet, and you have said it through the mouths of these prophets. So, Heavenly Father, you have sent us in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach. You have sent us with these staffs, O oh God, this red stick staff, and all that it symbolizes, all the way from from up in Missouri in the 417 land, for truly judgment shall begin in the house of the Lord God, according to 1 Peter 417. The Lord, you have sent us forth with these staffs, striking the earth, commanding these judgments to come forth, commanding all the words that we have prophesied from out of our mouths to come forth. So we speak to the Mississippi River. We speak to you, O Mississippi. We start to touch you with the red staff. And we say, rise up, O oh, Mississippi. We touch your bottom. And we say, split, split, O oh, bottom. Split wide, split apart, O oh, bottom of Mississippi. Split wide. We speak to you. We say, widen out. Open up. Open up, O oh, great inland sea. Open up, O oh, inland ocean. Great inland sea, open up your gates wide in the name of Jesus Christ. For it is here, it is at this place that we break the back of this resistance, that we break the back of this opposition that has been against your will, O oh God. For you have decreed that your judgments should go forth to the purification of the saints in this land, to, re to the release of your power in this land, your servants. So we said, open it up, oh God. Open it up. Let the tsunamis come forth from the south. Let the earthquakes come forth from the north and split the Mississippi to create the inland ocean. Let it come and let it be decreed. 
hear this January 6th, 2014, that the back of the opposition, that the back of the adversary is broken here in the United States of America, as it was here at the Battle of Vicksburg, so it is done today here in Vicksburg. God, thus saith the Lord God Almighty to the inhabitants of the land. Repent, therefore, for the kingdom of God is at hand. For the Lord God says America is consumed with her idols. My people are consumed with their idols. Their reality TV shows. They're mesmerized. They have no questions. They look at us and they see us with these staffs and these jackets and hats on. And they don't even question what are you guys doing. They're like they're dead and asleep in their lethargy and apathy. And the Lord God says to the inhabitants of the land, I will send a mighty blow upon this nation. I will send the great earthquakes out of the heartland all the way into Louisiana and all the way into the Gulf of Mexico. And then fault lines will split from the heartland down to New Orleans as well. And the hidden fault line that's all the way into the waters will be stirred with tsunami. Explosions will come forth. Great explosions for 2014 will come forth. Great explosions all over the nation of America. The word explosions, death assembly for 2014 is marked in this year, in this hour. And great death will come upon this land. For they have refused to love the truth of the Lord God. They have refused to repent. They have refused to hear the Lord God's word through the prophets of God at this hour. And yet many people are denying that the prophets even exist anymore. Church leaders are denying that the prophets exist. It's not an Old Testament thing. It's not a New Testament thing. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob is the same yesterday, today, forever. And prophets are prophets. And in the New Testament, God established prophets as well. Of the fivefold ministry of the apostles, prophets, evangelists, shepherds, and teachers, and the apostles and prophets were in great authority over the church of God in the early days. But the church has lost her flavor, has lost her light, and has lost her salt. And the Lord God says, Repent, or I will come upon you, and you do not expect, but sudden judgments will come, and the sword of God will come forth. And yet this day we've come on the duck tour, and it better be duck and covered. We went to Phil Robertson's house, but he wasn't available to talk to us. We were promised that he would call us. He has not called us yet as of today. We went all over to New Orleans and had meetings. We talked to the people and warned the people there. We warned the people over in Alexander. We warned an elder prophet it was coming. We warned these people that God says he's about to strike 10 times greater. 10 times greater than Katrina. And it won't just come in the form of any hurricane. It will be a storm like America's never seen. It will be the judgments of a great mighty earthquake in the style of a 1906 San Francisco earthquake in the heartland of America. There will be three epic centers. One will be in Branson, Missouri. One will be in Springfield, Illinois. And then there will be another one that will come behind that. But it will be one at a time in God's timing. We don't know the day or hour, but we know it's very near. And God says when he sends it, it will strike 17 states in different places at different times with different of the three different earthquakes. And when he strikes them, it will come even out of branching out of the heartlands through the New Magic fault lines and all the way down into Louisiana into the Gulf of Mexico. And the Lord God says this day, he said, come and strike the waters of the Mississippi. Where? Where the great battle of Vicksburg was. Where there was an ending of the Civil War. This was the fact that to be broken. And now a Civil War will start in America. As we strike this coast. As we strike this sea. As we strike in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Fire of God. Fire of God. Double. 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 Double staff. Double, double. double judgments. There will be doubles. In the land there will be wailing. Oh, Prince Demon of the sea. Oh, Prince Demon of this Mississippi. It's like the sea. Oh, Prince Demon. I speak to you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I say, the time has come to the end. And you are the last Prince Demon. There were three Prince Demons on the Mississippi, 
God spoke to me. When I went out in 2008, all three times it was struck, all three times the Mississippi flooded over. And now, the Lord says, this particular prince demon hasn't been casted off again. Now you must leave. Your assignment is coming Amen. to the end, and you can't hold the waters back, and you cannot hold the fault lines back. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Yeshua HaMashiach says, let it go. You to come to you the must end. let the waters let it go. go. You must let the fault line go. In the name of Jesus. And I must have you hold these, all of them. God said for the very first time since prophet Stephen Benning and Matthew Stephen has come together this is the Lord's staff this is the oak staff of 2011 it was supposed to awaken the nation with a hard blow a hard blow and it said an awakening unto repentance and an awakening unto judgment and that will be your revival that's the revival that America is not looking for and that's the way it will come with great persecution upon the church Hold the Lord's staff, Stephen. With all the staffs that come together, God says, take now this very heavy oak staff. These are cedar. There's the red sticks together. There's the two original cedar staffs. Here's the Lord's staff. And now this oak staff, which is very heavy, even from the time I cut it down, will strike a mighty blow upon the Mississippi River. In Jesus' name, break forth! Be and it shall go to Baton Rouge, the city of the red stick. Baton Rouge will be struck. We are in Vicksburg. It shall go forth, and it shall go to the cities of New Orleans, and it shall go all the way over. It will go over to West Monroe and just pass there, and it shall come forth in Jesus' name this day. So let it be done. Let it be written. Let it be sealed in this hour. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. It is done. It is done. It is done. No more delay. It is done. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you. Save the souls of those that need to be saved, God. We warned the people for years. Save these people before they die in their sins. In Jesus' name. And this is Matthew's wife um, doing a little editing on this. And... Um, you know, what you just saw, we're going to place on YouTube. We hope it goes viral because the church is dead. The church is dead and asleep, and they have kicked the true prophets out. The church is filled with the message of prosperity doctrine and have your best life now. They don't care about the judgments. They don't even know the judgments. And the preachers that are in most of the churches today, um, this message here that you heard on this videotape doesn't sell. It's not a warm and fuzzy message that brings people to drop money in their pocketbooks. So if you didn't hear about it at church, you might wonder why. But we hope this message goes viral and that when these things happen, you will begin to read your Bible um, and to find out that God still uses true prophets today to speak his word. It says uh, right there in the in the Bible, it says, um, Surely the Lord God does nothing without revealing it first to his servants, the prophets. And I never could understand why the loving God allowed a Holocaust to come back in the movies until I found out that three prophets were sent to warn the people, but they didn't listen. And God tells you in his word what the consequences are for a people that are stubborn, stiff-necked, hard-hearted, and will not listen to his true prophets. Most of the people in church today love lies more than they love the truth. So there's only one person that is the truth, and his name is Jesus Christ. You better get to know him because you're going to meet him soon.